Welcome to the Menopause Lifestyle Solution. My name is Livia Francis and I'm introducing you to the 34 different symptoms of menopause and yes, believe me, there are many. We are going to be chatting today about itchy skin. Women can experience very itchy skin. Now this is a condition called pruritus. This occurs from either perimenopause, into menopause, and generally subsides after the menopause. Oestrogen is related to collagen. So the more oestrogen you have, effectively, the more collagen your skin has. Now, as this declines, obviously the skin condition will as well. Now, some women do experience really severely itchy skin. Now, this could be the T-zone of the face, the limbs, the body, the neck, you name it, it can happen anywhere. And it's often quite a surprise when it does happen and really irritating. You could also develop things like acne. You can develop little pimples under the skin. Pigmentation is another one that's quite common and also wrinkling of the skin. So ladies, don't worry. It is due to your changing hormones. It is to do with your estrogen changing. So what do we do if we get itchy skin? Number one would be to visit your doctor. Number two would be home remedies such as oatmeal bath. Have you ever tried an oatmeal bath? So you grind up oatmeal, you put it into the bath, make sure the water's not too hot, and you literally soak in the bath, in a warm bath of oatmeal, for around 10 minutes, just to let it really soak into the skin. And when you come out, just dry off, pat yourself dry, and the skin will feel more nourished over the next night. And if you do this regularly, say three times a week, develop a habit, what do I always say about habits? You will find that hopefully, in some cases, in some cases, your skin may start to feel a little bit better. It tends to reduce the itchiness of the skin itself. Number three, you could use topical products such as moisturizer. Really keep the skin hydrated as much as possible. A good moisturizer that hasn't got any nasties in it, so make sure it's got no parabens in it, it's got no mineral oils in it because they're gonna clog up the skin. So go for a vegan clean brand, okay? Number four is vitamin C. So you could take vitamin C supplements you can also use it, it's really important on our skin, especially on our face, to really keep that collagen, keep the plumpness there, stabilize vitamin C. So look for products with stabilized vitamin C, especially on the, on the face area. Vitamin C can also be eaten, so you can take it in your food. Citrus fruit foods are really high in vitamin C. And number five, herbal supplements. So plenty of herbal supplements out there on the market that really promote healthy skin, such as Dong Kwai, which has phytoestrogens within it that can really support and help you boost your estrogen. So this may work, it may not work, it really is, as I said before, it's trial and error as to what works for you. Number six, obviously looking at menopause treatments such as HRT and bioidentical hormone therapy and body identical hormones. So the variety is there for you out there to look and to be honest with you ladies, it really is seeking what way works for you best. But I hope you found this really helpful. Do check out my Instagram, at Menopause Lifestyle Solution. Same on LinkedIn, same on Facebook. And of course, www.menopauselifestylesolution.com. Click the bell notification for more Menopause Minutes.